Hi, my name is Jerry and in this video we are going to be going over the bug bounty path from Hack the Box Academy. This is a web application hacking course that covers everything you need to know to get you started on the bug bounty journey and on the web app pen testing journey. So I completed this a couple of months ago, haven't been able to get around to making a video about it, but here we are today. This course really enabled me to gain a lot of confidence with pen testing web apps. And it was such an exciting thing for me to, I, I guess, go through the course and learn more about web app pen testing. In this video, I want to cover the pros and the cons of the course, the, an overview of what it is, and I wanna kinda of give my suggestion on whether you should do it or not. Let me know in the comments if you have done web app pen testing or want to be a web app pen tester or even you're afraid of pen testing web apps because I know that before I did this course, I did not have the confidence to tackle web apps on my own. Um, but after doing this course, um, I've just gained a lot more confidence in doing so. So let's get a bit of an overview of this course. This is the Hack the Box Academy training website. Now, if you go sign up, you go down to this side and there is paths and job role paths, you will get this page. There are several job role paths. So the one that we're talking about today is the bug bounty hunter. There's also a penetration tester path that as you can see, I'm about halfway through. There's a SOC analyst path, a senior web pen tester, an active directory uh, penetration tester, and an AI red teamer path. These paths go through, I guess, the necessary requirements for the role that they um, are kind of geared towards. The bug bounty path is a really great introductory web application pen tester path. If you're looking at getting into pen testing in general, I would highly encourage you to jump into web application pen testing because this is the majority of the tests that you are going to do as a junior pen tester. Most organizations have web applications that they need to secure, whether they provide SaaS platforms, whether they provide um, just any kind of service to clients, you will generally be doing a web application penetration test. And so having a really good handle on web apps and the kind of vulnerabilities they have and how to exploit them and also how to, I guess, show the impact, show the risk that is associated and report those things is vital to doing it. So this course covers all the basics from the beginning. They, you cover web requests, introductory to introduction to web applications, using web proxies like Burp Suite and OWASP Zap, information gathering, attacking applications with FUF, which is a uh, brute forcing tool, JavaScript deobfuscation, cross-site scripting, SQL injection, SQL map essentials, command injections, filed upload attacks, server-side attacks, login brute forcing, broken authentication, web attacks, which cover things like verb tampering, IDOR, and XXE. Now, if you don't understand what any of those things are, I would recommend highly to jump into this course because it will cover all of those things and explain them in depth. It includes also file inclusion, session security, web services and API attacks, hacking WordPress, and finally the bug bounty hunting process. All of these courses, these modules, are required to complete the whole learning path and they really give you a solid foundation in web application pen testing. Now, some of the things that I experienced as I went along, for me, it says in the course, let me jump, jump back over here. It says that it takes about 18 days to go through the course. Now, I feel like for any beginner, someone who hasn't really touched web application pen testing before, it may take a bit longer. For me, personally, I have a full-time job. I have a family. They go to school. There's just lots of commitments. It took me about three to four months of hands-on keyboard time. That includes taking notes, going through the skills assessments, making sure that I fully understand the different things. 
um, that the course is covering. It took me about three to four months. I am a little bit more slower and I do like to read things very thoroughly. So take that with a grain of salt. You may be quicker. You, it may take you only 18 days. I think if you've had a really solid foundation within IT or you're a software developer and you work with web apps, I think you'll breeze through this pretty quickly. I found that this course was pitched at the right level for me. See, I had done the Try Hack Me web application uh, pen tester course about a year before. I'd done a certification in web app pen testing by INE, but I found that they didn't really quite give me a solid reason and explanation as to what like the all of the attacks were from a this is what it means standpoint and not just what it means as a risk perspective but also like understanding the technologies and all of that so i found it really pitched at the right level because it, it just kind of went a little bit more in depth and that's really good i think the more you understand web applications the less voodoo magic they seem um and that's like a really positive thing um, so yeah, it was pretty in depth and it wasn't just about running tools or basic payloads. For me, I found things like, like the course that I did from INE to be a lot more about run this tool. These are the things you check for, tick the boxes and that's it. Rather than trying to actually understand, okay, what is the functionality of this application? What is it doing? What are the things that users can manipulate? What can they input, take out all of those kind of things? and really thinking through how an application works and where developers can go wrong and what hackers can do to abuse functionality that's there. Um, and I think that, that that difference in not just running tools, but really understanding how the tools work and how you can use them to manipulate intended or unintended functionality within a web application is just like, it's a lot harder to teach that, but it's also very important to learn that in your pen testing career. I loved that they spent a lot of time on that and I love that they spent a lot of time on explaining technology and how it works. They spent a lot more time not just teaching the tools, not just going through the attacks, but actually going into some of the code at a basic level, looking at PHP and Java and, and all of that and kind of explaining this is what it looks like on the back end for these vulnerabilities to occur. Now, some of the pros, again, something that I loved, pretty in-depth course, very in-depth course, especially for a beginner course. It covers 268 sections. Every module has some sort of skills assessment, some sort of practical thing. And so you're getting tested on the things you're learning as you go. And like it is kind of on you to take notes and kind of grow in that sense, but if you just did the course, by the end of it, I think you would have a really solid understanding of how to test web apps um, to a pretty good beginner degree. Like it's really good. It's pitched at the right level, I think. Another pro is that there are constant updates to the modules. For me, I was going through, I was about 80% of the way through and then it dropped down to 70 because they dropped a couple of updates to some of the modules, like the information gathering module uh, last year, which just vastly expanded that module and made it so much better. It honestly, they're improving them as they go over and over. And Hack the Box has said that once you've completed a module 100%, you own it forever and all updates are yours. And that I think that is an awesome community thing that they're doing and really wanting to help the community to grow and learn together and to, I guess, get better as technology changes and evolves, evolve with technology. And another pro that I kind of mentioned before was that you get to look at some of the code. Even if you don't come from a developer background, I don't come from a developer background, getting into the code kind of gets you into the logic of these applications and really understanding what's going on behind the scenes. And that's really helpful. I find that practically speaking, when I'm on a pen test nowadays, I 
start to visualize what the decisions that the developer made on the back end. How is this functionality working? And what may be things that they left out or, or they forgot about that I can abuse for my own gain? Um, I think that that's a really, really awesome thing to learn about. Now, there are a few cons that I think some of them don't bother me so much, but I've heard people complain about these things that I think you should be made aware of if you've never looked at Hack the Box Academy. The first thing, the biggest thing is that it is all text. For me, it's not a really big deal. I've spent a lot of time reading things when I was at university, um, studying theology, like that was the main thing. You don't look at videos, you read textbooks and things written by German scholars and that kind of thing. So it didn't really bother me. Um, but I know for some people not having videos can be a deal breaker and can be really hard for you to get around. Um, it's all text. They do it because they want to be able to update the content in a way that's easier and be able to be a lot more quicker in deploying new content that's up to date and evolving as the landscape evolves. And I think that that's a really positive thing, but I can see why it can be hard for some people. Another one is some of the skills assessments were a little bit weird. I don't know how to explain it unless you've actually walked through the skills assessments yourself. Some of them are like kind of hard to test for without having a full blown application. Um, I remember there was a, pu a few modules, particularly maybe like the session security one. Um, and there was another one, I think it was web services and API attacks. Those two modules I found their skills assessments were like, a combination of a few other modules that came before plus the stuff you learned within that module but the way that it kind of was delivered was weird and i i don't know there was just some things i was like this is a little bit hard to assess i totally understand that kudos for trying but it kind of didn't land super well another con that i found was that some some of the modules though the course is super comprehensive there's not enough practice. Like there's a lot of practice through it. And like pretty much every page has a lab attached to it, unless it's just like information dump. But I found that sometimes there was just, I just wanted a little bit more practice that was not so strict to the content. So like what I mean is say we're learning cross-site scripting and you learn to use uh, an image HTML tag um, that causes an error to then execute JavaScript within the context of the browser. Okay, you go through the learning material and then you sit the skills assessment for that section. And I found sometimes it was just too like carbon copy of that session, that, that module. And I wanted something that was a little bit more challenging. So like maybe a level one, two, and three that kind of progressed you into thinking through how would I bypass this or do this or do this differently and really thinking through like, what does this look like in different contexts, in different applications? Um, that kind of thing I think would build out more of the meth methodological aspect of web app pen testing where you have to be thinking through making a hypothesis and then seeing if it is true um, in saying that there were times that i found myself supplementing the stuff from hack the box academy with port swigger it is by far one of the best free resources out there like if you can't afford a hack the box academy subscription and you wanna do web app pen testing and wanna learn it, jump on Portswigger because they have amazing, amazing resources there and amazing labs that kind of cover a bunch of techniques and different scenarios and all of that, which is awesome and it's all for free. So I found myself going, especially in things like SQL injection and early on when I was doing cross-site scripting, I would jump over there and have a look at the different labs there and try to do them myself after I did the the modules on Hack the Box Academy. And I found that that was really helpful. Um, but in saying that, I wish that Hack the Box Academy had a few more like 
varied labs throughout the modules to kind of test yourself in different ways. I don't know if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Now, who should do this course? Who should do this course? Look, if you're a beginner and you have been wanting to get into web apps, or if you're a bit nervous about doing web application pen testing, um, or you know, you, you've, you've been doing a little bit of network stuff, um, and you want to do more stuff when you jump on Hack the Box, um, I would encourage you jump into Hack the Box Academy and do the Bug Bounty Hunter part. For me, I struggle to just learn at random. I don't, I don't do well with that when I don't really know the foundations. And I found that this course gave me the foundations to be able to then grow in each area of technique or vulnerability or whatever, all of that kind of thing. I found that doing the Bug Bounty Hunter course <laughs> grew me in that. Um, and if you're a beginner, if you have been wanting to get better at web apps, Bug Bounty Hunter pathway in Hack the Box Academy is the place to go. Um, it's pretty affordable if you're a student, only $8 a month, $8 US a month, and it unlocks all of the courses for you. Um, it does get a little bit more expensive um, as you go along, because then you have to purchase cubes to then um, pay for the modules, uh, but you can investigate that at your own leisure. For me, it was perfect to take my skills to the next level. And not only that, I found it directly applicable to my job. It was insanely and has been insanely applicable to my, my job. So if you think, mm, is this practical? Will this actually help me be job ready and all of that kind of thing? I'll say it will take your technical skills to a point where you can definitely do some, you know, beginner, junior pen testing um, of web applications. So I want to encourage you. I have a link in the description that is a referral link from me to sign up to Hack the Box Academy, jump into the Bug Bounty Hunter course, um, and let me know in the comments what you are most excited about to learn, what makes you apprehensive about web applications. Um, and yeah, we will see you in the next one. Happy hacking.